all that's left to do is wait for the guests to arrive and maybe just have a little glass of wine. July the 4th is just a few days away and Americans everywhere are stocking up on burgers, ribs, hot dogs, corn on the cob, beans, coleslaw, to name but a few, ready to celebrate Independence Day with the annual cook-off. This year when my guests arrive, I'll be offering them one of my favorite appetizers, ceviche, before we launch into all that yummy, heavy grilled food. Ceviche is a Latin American seafood dish originating in Peru typically made from raw fish cured in fresh citrus, most commonly lemon or lime. And I say cured, not cooked, because we'd have to use heat if we were going to cook it. And ceviche, we don't. We actually put a, an acid on there, the lemon or the lime, and then the fish just sits there bathing away in that lemon or lime juice until it just tightens up and tastes absolutely amazing. You can use snapper, sea bass, halibut, mahi-mahi, shrimp, scallops, any of those for making ceviche. But here in Texas, red snapper fishing season is officially open in the Gulf of Mexico and Texans will be enjoying it grilled and blackened and fried. But for me, it's all about the ceviche. We have to skin the fish first. and then cut it into small pieces. I love cooking with red snapper. This fish is so fresh, it's like it's just jumped out of the Gulf of Mexico into my kitchen. Once the fish is all chopped and into small dice, then I've got some freshly squeezed lime juice. Now, you can buy ready-made, ready-squeezed. I promise you it's worth taking the limes and squeezing them yourself that sharpness, that acidity, really does help make an amazing ceviche. You need enough in there so that the fish can swim around a little, well, not literally, but you don't want it all packed and tight. Once the fish is marinating in the lime juice, then you can start adding all the other ingredients into it. It's down to personal taste, how you like your ceviche to be. If you're more a sort of sushi, sashimi person, then about 15 minutes on the red snapper is probably good. It's gonna be firm on the outside and really soft on the inside. If you don't like it sort of too raw, then I would go with about 30 minutes up to about 45 minutes and that'll firm up nicely. But let's put the other ingredients in. I have some red onion and I like the red onion. It's not too bitter, not too sharp. Really fine when you cut the red onion. We're not talking chunky pieces at all. So in with the red onion. Then I've got some cucumber, which I'm just going to cut really fine. And some jalapeno. I don't want it too spicy. You can use serrano chilies in this if you want to, but I'm actually using also a little chili paste too, chili garlic paste, and that gives me the heat, but it also gives me a gorgeous color in there as well. So there'll be two types of warmth, one coming from the uh, Thai chili garlic paste, but also some coming from my jalapenos too and the jalapenos will give me a really nice crunch. It's all about flavors, looks,
taste, textures when we're eating, and not just ceviche. Then I want to add some cilantro. Finally, some salt. I'll give you all this a stir and mix it all in together. What happens is that lime juice, that citrus, changes the protein, tightens it up, and that's what cures, cooks the fish. Stir all that in together, and we let that sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. When it comes out, I've got some gorgeous avocado, which I'm going to dice in there. Remember, it's all about textures and taste as well. And the softness, the smoothness, the creaminess from the avocados will just take it to the next level. We'll strain off a little of the juice so that then I made these tostadas earlier. You just fry them, cut the tortillas, the corn tortillas, a little mold. If you don't have the mold, then cut them square, cut them into shapes and then we drop them in corn oil uh, just until they're nice and crispy. But the texture, again, with that crispiness just makes these incredible to the fridge. Once it's been in there for about 30 minutes, you can see now that the fish, the snapper, has tightened up, but it's still gorgeous on the inside. The, the smell, the, the citrusy, the uh, cilantro is, is just incredible and all I need to do now is add into there uh, my avocado. So I'll take my avocado and then just do a little chop on there, just fold that in. We don't want to put the avocado in too early because it just all starts to mash up. So nice little cuts. and then into the ceviche. Fold that avocado carefully into the ceviche. And it's ready to go on the tostadas. There's so many ways to serve ceviche. At my catering company, Eating Royally in Dallas, we make mini tostadas like I'm going to make today. But you can serve tacos, ceviche tacos, or tiny ceviche lettuce cups folded over. Uh, they're incredible too. You can even serve it in shot glasses. There's so many things you can do with it. Or just put the ceviche in a big bowl with all the tostadas around the side. When the guests come over, just put it out for them and let them just pick away at it. And that sharpness, the, the acidic in there, really will get the taste buds going, ready for that July the 4th party. Any ceviche left, you can put into a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator. Drain off the lemon juice first, or the lime juice, and any tostadas, another little Ziploc in the pantry. And then later on today, tomorrow, after everyone has the munchies later on this evening, right? Then you can bring this out again and everyone will be digging in. All that's left to do is wait for the guests to arrive and maybe just have a little glass of wine. I love to serve Sauvignon Blanc with this one, and maybe I'll just test one of these. Mm. So good. 
Red snapper, ceviche, tostadas. Using the freshest of ingredients, it makes the perfect appetizer. The red snapper was so fresh when I got it this morning. Its eyes were like following me around the kitchen. It was so fresh. Well, sort of. And then avocado and cucumber in there, some jalapeno, that chili in there too. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel below. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to cook next. See you again soon. Cheers. Mm. They're gorgeous. They're so good. So good.